guys, today I'm going to review for you the Nathan Infinity Hydration Vest. These beauty right here. So this is the Nathan Intensity Hydration Pack. Well, it's really a vest. I think that's actually how it is marketed. Um, it has different compartments. It is marketed as a six liter uh, vest. Um, it fits two liters of water within the main compartment. And then it has all these different pockets that I will show you how I pack for my long runs. Um, I typically take this with me when I do runs longer than 10, well, typically longer than 10 kilometers, like six miles, seven miles. I take it with me even short, shorter than those if it's really hot outside and I know that I'm going to be sweating a lot. Um, so let me show you what I pack in my infinity vest. So in this compartment right here, there's space really just for like a goo or some type of gel that you may want to pack with you. Um, I usually want to have to pack them. I pack one like this and the other one I pack it like this so that they fit better. Um, just for, because of how they are shaped, I feel like they fit more if it's like that. Otherwise this gets, uh, I think this would get worn out, although it's pretty secure, but um, I just like doing it that way. So I pack one like this and the other one I would pack upside down. Then here in this zipper, I usually pack a bar with me, a power bar. This is a quick bar. I like this one, the blueberry crisp. I also like their uh, white chocolate macadamia. Uh, but yeah, these are the ones that I typically pack with me. Again, I always do my long runs with something to eat. Not always I um, eat what I bring with me, but I always want to be prepared. So this is on the right. On the left here, it has, um, it doesn't have a zipper. It has this system. So you can actually put here another bottle. It's pretty big. I usually put here my uh, phone just because it comes in and out very easily. Um, but in cases where I thought um, I was gonna need Gatorade, this is where I would bring my Gatorade. I would put a bottle here. Other times I have, um, I actually bring with me um, a spray with very, very cold water that I put um, for a few minutes in the um, freezer so that the water's really, really cold and then I spray it on my body when I'm running. I just like doing that sometimes when the heat is like kind of extreme and I know that I have to put a long run. So you have this here as well. Sometimes I use this uh, for if I am running with the long sleeves, for example, and um, I have another t-shirt underneath that short sleeves, or I want to run in my running bra, then I put the t-shirt through here, just like this. Um, it's pretty secure once this is on your back, it's, it's not gonna move. Um, and then here, this compartment here, I usually have several things. Well, I bring with me Kleenex. They're important in case you need to use Potter Body. This is a wet towelette. It's, I think I got it like in a Chinese restaurant or something, but it's a, it's a wet towel in case you have to clean your, you know, your hands, sanitize them. And then here in the back, there's this other, within this compartment, there's another little compartment here. Allegedly you could put he, this here, you could put your keys. I never do that. I usually just put my keys in here. But here I carry it with me another zipper where I put, some things that I that potentially I could need on my run, long run. So let's see what's here. This is a burn relief. Oh, actually, <laughs> this is for sunburns and minor burns. It's first aid. I think this comes really handy when you're, um, if it's really hot and you get burned your nose, your, um, you know, part, different parts of your, your body that are very exposed. So I carry two of these. I carry an antiseptic. This is a towelette in case, I don't know, I fall, then I can actually sanitize the injury. 
have another one of those and then this is really important this is band-aids these are for your fingers they're super tiny so these are more for like your toes sorry not fingers toes um, and these are just bigger ones I also carry with me Advil just because it's happened to me in the past that I've gotten a headache. Um, I only take it if it's absolutely necessary, but sometimes you get a headache when you're running and you still have to put six more miles and it's awful, you have to run with a headache. So I always bring it with me. And then here, oh, these are just more band-aids. So yeah, that's all I bring here with me. I put it here and then the towelette and the Kleenex. I usually put this in here, sorry. Just because these, I need to replace these a lot less than this, the Kleenex and the towel. So the Kleenex and the towel go up. And then we come to really the meat and potatoes. Here in the main compartment, you it's where you put your water. So well right now it's not full, so but if you fill it up with water, typically you fill this up this app with water it holds two liters um, you can't fill it up more than more than here but I can assure you this is not water for a very very long run I mean I've never I never drank more than like a liter even in like high temperatures so I think this is good um, so you put it like this put the water here I usually I sometimes I put um, water and then I put ice cubes inside so that they melt and they, they, it keeps the water very cold when it's very, you know, in the very hot days of the summer. And then one thing that I always recommend is once you put your water here and you fill it up, you sort of get the air out that's left and then close it like so. Why do I do that? Because when you're running, if you leave the air here on top of the water, it slashes a lot. You're like, shh, 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 shh. it's annoying. So that's usually what I do. It, there's always a little bit of, you know, the water is gonna make a noise, uh, but I think it makes a lot less noise if you actually take your time to get the air out. And then once you have your Camelback full, you put it in here and it has a little Velcro here that you put through this and you secure it here, like this way. See that? Secure it like that. And then this, there is a hole right here. And then you just put this through the hole. And you put it through here, through these other, just to secure it in place. It's not going to move and bother you when you're making your arm swing running. And then you secure it right here. All you have to do is just zip from here. It's very, um, it's a very intuitive system actually. There's no, not a lot of problems. So the only other thing I wanted to talk about is how do you wash it? Now, I haven't had to wash the actual vest. Um, it's holding on pretty well now granted I haven't run with it like under the rain or anything like that um, I think at one point I'm gonna have to wash it and the instructions say you have to you know wash it with mild soap and um, cold water and then let it air dry so but another thing that's important I think if, if you guys want to make a decision if you want to buy this particular one is how do you wash it once you've used your water how do you wash this and to wash it it's very 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 simple so you have to get it out from here take it off of the velcro get your backpack out of here and then usually what i do is I open this up. See, it's pretty tight so that the water doesn't get out of here. 
and I usually put warm water in here, pretty warm water. I wouldn't do it super, super hot, but I put pretty warm water. And the way that you clean this, the tube, is to hold this with water, always filled like halfway, and then you push this to let the water out. If this is higher than this, the water is gonna flow through the tube. And then the, wa the, warm, the hot water, warm water is gonna go through here and leave through here. So that's usually the, what I do to wash it. Every four or five uses, I put a little bit of soap, I wash it, and then I actually take this off of here, which you just have to push this and get it out. It's pretty tight. Um, that's the way you want it. You don't wanna be losing water this way. And what I do is I wash this and then I get it upside down, like inside out, not upside down. Inside out, which is really easy to do once you have taken this contraption off and then just let it air dry. Okay, you can you know wipe it a little bit if you want with, right now actually contain a little bit of water. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this is the Nathan Infinity Vest. I hope you like this review. It's a phenomenal, um, phenomenal Camelback. I have taken it with me on countless occasions. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's only really the weight that you put on it. Your goose, your whatever bar you have with you and the water. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.